Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you a very unusual project, for me unusual. I alter this tins and I will do it with rust. This is my iron base coat. It's an iron powder in gel medium. So I made a whole mess here. The lid wasn't on properly and I had to shake it and that happened. It was a mess. It took me really long time to clean that up again. Oh, yeah. So I'm putting a thin coat on it. That's a base coat. You have to let it dry and then put a thicker coat on again, and that will be um, covered in this oxidation liquid. So I um, made two of them, but I only will show you one. And um, when that is half dry, you have to do the oxidation liquid on and have to wait for the rusting process to start. And um, this is the is it an oxidation liquid? It is, yeah. Yeah, I show it. It this stuff is quite good for a flat rusting coat. My other stuff I use is a very, very rough rusting stuff and I put it on top of that as well because I didn't like the very flat and thin. You can see here the other stuff I used. It is mere rustic. It is really, really, really... It looks really... What should I call it? Messy? Rusty? <laughs> so, um, I always have this already prepared rusty pages laying around for projects. I, I can die cut something and I use this uh, um, butterfly dies. I can't really tell you where it comes from because I always throw all the package, package in the way, so I go around the edges here. But because it didn't really pop up um, from the background, I thought this parchment paper would be great. It, it did work well. The problem is to um, put it on. I used first this um, normal gel medium, I think, uh, liquid text, but it didn't work. The parchment paper doesn't doesn't stick it doesn't stick with this so I had to go with uh, glue afterwards and that worked much better so um, to make it even more pop I go around the edges with this Posca white Posca pen and um, that's that worked at the end so much better otherwise it really blended in into the background and yeah didn't make sense so here you can see that and what I will do now, not a lot of more, um, I will, uh, you know, the rust actually, it's what I wanted to focus on. And with the cracker paint, it, it's really great. So I didn't want to do a lot of more. This is, um, um, what do you call this string, very rust, rustic string. And I put some of the bijouterie, jewelries, and I, I use all this broken stuff or when it's cheap somewhere I see that I buy it. So I assembled it and I have this uh, little charm next to it, what you can see it's a butterfly I will put on so it picks up the butterfly theme and that's it already. This is a close-up, you can see it here and that will stay on my desk at work with all my pens in so really like it that's so me i think it's it's shabby it's it's rustic it's yeah that's what i like so i hope you like it too and i thank you a lot for watching i hope i will see you with my next project so have a nice time guys see you then bye bye